Ladies and gentlemen, it is June, and this is Sly Slime coming to you with a confession. I have completely forgotten about making a channel update video for June! Whoops. Sorry about that. So if you've been wondering why this video is almost a week late, there you have it. I just completely forgot. If you're new to the channel, let me introduce the concept. I make a channel update video every month to let you guys know what's going on with the channel, what's coming up, and how it's going, basically. Uh, anyway, for this update, let me get a bit personal with you. As many of you doubtlessly know, I have had a bit of a rough time over the last few months. I've put in a lot of work to ship Mirror's Edge Catalyst, and it's actually coming out today or tomorrow, depending on where you are. So if you want to see my work that I actually do for a living, uh, then go check out that game. It's awesome. Take it from me, I'm completely unbiased. Anyway, I'm tired from that. I still haven't had any time off after shipping the game, and those of you who've been around for a long time since the incident that prompted the creation of the very, very first channel update on this channel might, in fact, remember that me and my brother inherited a church house, like a missionary house, from my mother when she passed away, and that that house got flooded. Well, now the repairs have been completed, it has brand new wooden flooring and everything, and as a result, we've been driving there every single weekend these last few weeks to sort through all the things and try to get to a point where we can actually sell the place. Um, which is both emotionally and physically draining, and yet we just have to keep tirelessly going through it. But my mother was an artist and craftswoman, and she gathered all kinds of things, so there's just an ocean of like tools, brushes, sewing things, painting tools, glass beads, and even rocks that she gathered to polish up and make into jewelry. Now, don't get me wrong, they're very nice looking rocks, and she made amazing things with them, but they're still rocks. And stone, as you might imagine, is pretty heavy. So there's boxes and boxes and boxes of just stone. So that's what's taken up all my weekend time lately, which means I've spent basically my entire evenings during the weekdays preparing videos to keep up, and it's been a bit rough. Like, I enjoy doing it, but when it gets to this kind of quantity of work, Let's just say that it's really hard to motivate yourself to do the things that are harder or more boring. So, those of you who follow Lost in the Captions know that I lost my cat a few weeks ago, which was incredibly rough for me emotionally, and as a result I skipped making advanced map making tutorial for that week and basically just took a week off. And because of how my life is right now, I just haven't had the energy to pick it back up again. Uh, to be completely honest with you, I very often end up struggling with feeling inadequate for the channel. Like if I even take one evening off and play Overwatch or something. I know I shouldn't be feeling that, but it doesn't help me not to feel that. Anyway, I'm making some big changes to my life, but some changes you make take a really long time to give you any benefit. So it'll be months before I really get any benefits of that. And in the meantime, it'll be a bit of a go with the flow for the channel. So Minecraft VR just started, will continue because that's an awesome series. It's something that not every YouTuber can make, obviously, because you need the hardware, which is a benefit for me and for the channel. And also, like, it's it's an awesome thing to be doing, to be trying. It's completely, it's a completely new experience. But it's also a lot less heavily edited than many other things I do, which allows me to complete it much easier than other videos. Like, I can make a Minecraft VR video in one evening, which is a lot less time than would go into some of the other things that I make. Um, Lost in the Captions is hilarious to watch every week, even for me, because it's actually YouTube doing the comedy part. So I really want to keep making that once per week. I'm gonna... that is like the top priority. That is going to stay. Uh, you have no idea how long I laughed the first time I saw the caption for it Sliced My Mom. Um, the entirety of this Terra Swoop 4 series is recorded and edited. So that's just scheduled, it's going to go live on Thursdays, the coming Thursdays. And I really do urge you to go watch episode 3 at least, it has a montage in it that I put a lot of effort into and I'm really happy with the results. Uh, of course, news videos will continue when there is news to report on, when there's snapshots pre-releases or when 1.10 actually releases. We'll see how the feedback for all of that is taken by Mojang. Um, which then leaves advanced map making and the sort of ever postponed returns of Glass Core and Hot Bar Survival. I don't know what you think of it, to be honest, but personally, I'm more interested in picking the survival challenges back up again. 
than to grind through more advanced map making tutorials, like I haven't been enjoying that at all lately. I can't make any promises either way because I've already promised the return of Hoplar Survival in Glass Core too many times, and that's very silly because I actually have the next episode of Glass Core recorded. I've had it for a long time, I just haven't done the editing work for it. And what you have to understand is that editing takes a lot more time than actually playing the game for these kinds of series for me. It's a lot of work. So at the moment my idea that I would like to do is kind of do a summary of the previous episodes and then start bringing back new ones. But we'll see. So despite all of that, to be honest, the channel has been doing really well. And much to the credit of this amazing community. I do read all the comments you guys post on my videos. I do read all the tweets sent to me on Twitter, and I will say that I've seen a few instances of some really, really poor behavior sneak in, and just so you know, if you swear at somebody in a comment, that comment gets deleted. No matter what. Like, if you feel somebody's being stupid, you can tell them, but tell them in a civilized manner. That's the rules. Those really are the exception, though. Most of the comments are really enjoyable to read, and it gives me a lot of energy back to just see the amazing community around this channel. So, all in all, thank you for commenting, thank you for the likes, thank you for subscribing, and of course a special thank you to my patrons who helped keep the fan server going. You're all amazing, thank you so much, and that's the end of the admittedly very late channel update for June. This is Sliced Lime, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.